I like the idea of building a portrait with smaller elements, different colors, the things that make a person are many. I'm trying to look between the lines of the painting and see how many steps it takes to get from a highlight to a shadow. The pointillistic and kind of pixelation idea that I, I use is kind of a method of unifying people and realizing that whether white, black, whatever race, we're all kind of built with the same material. In my early life, basketball was pretty much everything. Come on, yeah! My cousin played in the NBA, and my dad was a basketball coach, so it was just ended up being all I wanted to do. Yeah! I went off to college, realized pretty quickly that basketball really wasn't what I wanted to do, so I transferred back to Charlotte, North Carolina, where I'm from, and joined the art department there and focused on art and been making it ever since. And I had all these old photos. I printed them off on my dad's computer and blew them up. And when I blew them up, I started to see like the pixels, like the greens and the pinks that come through in skin tones. Um, and I thought that was kind of interesting. So I ended up basically recreating these like digitized versions of, of my friends. So in 2015, uh, I did a show at Duplex Gallery called Those Days Are Over, and it was based around a collection of photos that my landlord found in the dumpster. The images that I got were all from the late 70s and early 80s of this one group of friends. I was really attracted to the images and I wanted to figure out a way to honor the way documentation was done back in the day with film photography. Early on, my art was portrait based and I was painting a lot of images of friends and people having a good time and pretty lighthearted work. But around 2016, uh, my work kind of took a shift. It was kind of around the time of the changeover in uh, presidents and also a lot of African-American men were being shot by cops. So both of those things affected me pretty, pretty greatly and I wanted to investigate that. And recycled wood became really prevalent in the work. Like old wood that had been on homes and torn down or been beat by the weather, but when I saw it, it still had this beauty that resonated with me. It also spoke to the perseverance of African Americans and everything that we've been through. We're still able to shine and put our best foot forward. And Education was a, a body of work that I did um, that was exhibited at Pear Gallery downtown. It's like self-investigation, looking into my past, my history, what makes me who I am. There's a painting in the show called Coach that's a, a painting of my dad and my big brother when he was a baby. Both my parents were educators, so there's a painting of a college rule sheet of paper. There was something about that show that felt like the work was sticking 
with people a little bit longer and like sticking to people. I try to use the research I do as inspiration for bodies of work. The images that I find in the research that I do jumps out at me. I want the paintings to do that same thing to the viewers when they see it. I'd been thinking about this idea for a long time of Shirley cards, which are basically the cards that they used in like early Kodak film to figure out color for processing. And a lot of the early Shirley cards were based off of Caucasian people, so white skin, light skin, and darker shades of people weren't taken into account. So I thought it would be really interesting to do these paintings that I see as basically black Shirley cards. This is a woman named Lorna Layson. Uh, Jet Magazine, a lot of the times, uh, like in the 50s and 60s, they, the subjects they used were just everyday people. They didn't do a ton of uh, celebrity uh, imagery. So I was really interested in that fact, just, uh, just like everyday subject matter has always been something that I was interested in. So I wanted to kind of celebrate that. I guess the, the main thing that I've realized um, over the course of making art is that I love exhibiting the work and being able to speak to everybody, like without having to speak to everybody. A lot of the imagery is from Jet Magazine oh, yes. and Hugh Magazine, oh, yeah. Yeah, two different publications, the Johnson Publications. Yeah. As a kid, like I hated like getting in front of people and talking, but art gave me a way of speaking my mind or getting my thoughts out um, without having to like actually speak to people. I guess <laughs> um, that sounds kind of weird, but uh, it's just yeah, it just it serves as my my voice. <laughs> 